Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we will be comparing the original Samsung Galaxy Chromebook to the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook 2. They are obviously different. The original Samsung Galaxy Chromebook costs a lot more. It's a premium Chromebook and the Galaxy 2 is a medium spec Chromebook. So it's always going to be the case when we look at the categories that the original will win. But where this comparison is good, it will let you see, it will let you see what is the actual differences between the two. And I've put it all together to put it into this comparison. If you liked the video, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. So let's take a look. So it's Samsung Galaxy Chromebook versus the Galaxy Chromebook 2. So first of all, let's take a look at the build quality. Now when it comes to build quality, the original Chromebook is lighter. Um, the weight difference is 2.29 pounds compared to the Galaxy 2 of 2.71 pounds. So there's no major difference there, but it is a bit lighter, the original. When it comes to thickness, the original is quite a bit thinner, to be fair. But the reason why they've had to make the Galaxy 2 slightly thicker is to give it a better battery life. But yes, it's definitely the, the, the Galaxy, the original, does look better because it is a, thick, a thinner Chromebook. Um, when it comes to the casing as well, you get out of casing, it's aluminium on the original Chromebook and on the Galaxy Chromebook 2. The outer casing is aluminium but the inner casing the keyboard where you put your where you rest your palms that's more that is plastic so it, it's not going to feel as premium when you open it up as well which you can see from the pictures although them pictures are quite small you can see the difference in the quality um, looking at them pictures and then width wise and diameter wise they're both the same so there's no difference so as far as taking these out and about with you they're both really compact uh, laptops. The only difference is the original Galaxy Chromebook had a few issues around battery life, so you wouldn't get as much battery life. But the Galaxy Chromebook 2 has a much better battery life, which we'll get on to later. So the build quality, it's obviously going to be the Galaxy Chromebook. Saying that though, the Galaxy Chromebook 2, it still looks good. It still comes in that nice Fiesta red, and you can also get it in gray as well. So the build quality winner is the original Galaxy Chromebook. So next on to performance. So when it comes to performance, as you would expect, the original Galaxy is going to be a better performing Chromebook. But let's have a look at the difference. The original Galaxy had an Intel i5 10th generation processor and it had a 1.6 gigahertz base speed with a turbo speed of 4.20 gigahertz. It's a quad core processor and it comes with six megabyte of cache. Now that's the only model on the original Galaxy. On the Galaxy 2, there's two models. There's an Intel Celeron processor that's 1.9 gigahertz dual core with two megabyte of cache. And there's also a second model, an Intel i3 10th generation, 2.1 gigahertz space speed with a turbo speed of 4.1 gigahertz. That's dual core with four megabyte of cache. Now you will see that the Intel i3 on the Galaxy 2, the base speed is higher than the base speed on the Intel i5 for the original Galaxy Chromebook, but you've also got to bear in mind the original Galaxy Chromebook is a quad core, so that's four cores running at that speed, whereas the Intel i3 is 2.10 gigahertz, but there's only two cores running at that speed. So the Intel i5 is a much faster performing Chromebook. That being said, the Intel i3 on the Galaxy 2, that can still do what you'd want to do mainly for Chrome OS. It's gonna be fine for surfing the internet, using social media, spreadsheets, word processors, Android apps, Linux apps. It will be fine, it won't be a problem. It's just a case that the original Galaxy Chromebook had a, a really good processor. Now the Intel Sauron processor, that's not going to be fantastic when it comes to performance. It's fine for internet surfing. It's fine for word processing, spreadsheets, streaming movies, absolutely fine for all of that. Where it will be obviously a bit of an issue is when it comes to multitasking. If you open up too many windows with an Intel Sauron processor, you're going to know about it. Also, advanced Android apps may not work very well with an Intel Sauron processor. 
and it, Linux, I don't think Linux would work very well with the Intel Sauron processor. So it's a bit of a strange one that they've offered that because the price, $549 I think for that, and I think for $549 for an Intel Sauron processor, I think that's quite expensive. You are definitely just paying for the name and the look as far as I'm concerned when it comes to that model. But the Intel i3 model, that's a really good performing Chromebook. Now when it comes to the RAM and storage, with the original you get eight gigabyte of RAM. And with the Galaxy 2, the Intel Celeron comes with four gigabyte of RAM and the Intel i3 comes with eight gigabyte of RAM. That's right, because with the Intel Celeron processor, four gigabyte of RAM, that's more than enough RAM for that type of processor and the type of things you'll be doing on that Chromebook. The eight gigabyte for Intel i3, again, that's the right amount for that. So they've got that correct. Um, when it comes to storage, the original add 256 gigabyte of storage and the Galaxy 2, again, if you go for the Intel Celeron, it's, for, it's 64 gigabyte. And if you go for the Intel i3, it's 128 gigabytes. So that's the difference there. Um, so the Intel i3, it's not just a processor that's much better than the Intel Celeron, it's you're getting double the amount of RAM and you're getting double the amount of storage. Now you will also notice with the original Galaxy, it had SSD storage and with the Galaxy 2, it has eMMC storage. Now eMMC storage is okay and a lot of Chromebooks use that storage, but high spec Chromebooks use SSD and some medium spec Chromebooks use SSD as well. Now where SSD is better, is it's better when it comes to large files. So when you're transferring large files, you have to open large files, you will notice the difference between SSD and eMMC. At the moment, you can't play games locally on your Chromebook, but hopefully in the future, I'm don't, I don't think we're that far away, with Steam for Linux app coming out, it will be possible to play games locally on your Chromebook. At the moment, you'd need to stream games with Stadia or Nvidia GeForce Now. They work perfectly great, there's no problem, but it's also good to be able to play games locally if you haven't got a great internet connection, it's good for that. Now, the SSD, for example, again, that will come, you'll see the difference. If you're playing games locally, and the game needs to constantly bring in data from the hard disk into the process into the RAM, then you're gonna see the difference between an SSD and an eMMC. So that's definitely something to consider if you're thinking about local games in the future on the Chromebook. So with the performance, it's gonna be the original Galaxy that wins. The Galaxy 2, the Intel i3, it's perfectly fine. It's not, it's not a bad processor in the slightest. Enough RAM, enough storage. Shane have gone for eMMC, eMMC storage because you've got to bear in mind that's still a $699 Chromebook, I think for that price, they could have gone for SSD. So that's a tad, a bit of a letdown, I think, on that. Um, so yes, the performance winner is obviously the original Galaxy, but we wouldn't expect anything different. Now, when we come to the display, both are 13.3 inches, and the aspect ratio on both is 16.9. The original Galaxy is well known for having a 4K display, so that's 4K resolution. That means you're gonna get really crisp images and text on the display. The problem with that is it, that was one of the reasons why the battery life on the original Galaxy Chromebook wasn't that good. So on the Galaxy 2, they had to address that. One way of doing that, apart from giving it a bigger battery, because it's a thicker, a thicker Chromebook, so they to give it a bigger battery, is to lower the resolution to full HD. Full HD on a laptop is perfectly fine. Don't get me wrong, if you've got a 4K laptop, then you, you're gonna love it. But a full HD resolution on a laptop is absolutely fine, certainly when you're considering it's a 13.3 inch display. So I wouldn't really be worrying about that difference. If you want the original, go for it. It's a great Chromebook. You just gotta think about the battery life. This is just comparing the two. Now, in relation to the display, Super AMOLED on the original and the Galaxy 2 is QLED. They're both really good. The displays are fine. The, the viewing angles are fine. There's no problems whatsoever. The colors are great. No issues whatsoever. Either of these Chromebooks, when it comes to the display, are going to impress. 
both slim, slim bezels and they're both touchscreen because both of these Chromebooks are hybrid so you can use them as a laptop or you can use them as a tablet as well which is good to see. Now the display again is obviously going to be the original Galaxy but later on we look at the prices and that's what you've got to consider when comparing them to, 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 to Chromebooks. So connectivity then, now when it comes to connectivity they're both similar to an extent. I'll put some things under this category which isn't really connect under connectivity, but that, that's fine. So USB Type-C, they both come with two USB Type-C ports. Neither come with a USB-A port. USB-A is fine if you've got older peripherals like a mouse or a keyboard or anything else that has a USB-A connection. Because neither of these two Chromebooks have a USB-A connection, you would need to use an adapter like that. I've got that with my Pixel phone and I brought some adapters as well. So it's not the end of the world and they're not that expensive. It's just a case of having to find these every time you want to plug in a USB-A. So the original Galaxy, I wouldn't have expected a, a, a USB-A because it's so thin, it would just, it's not possible. I think with the Galaxy 2, I, I think it, it's, it's quite a bit thicker. I think they could have got away with putting a USB-A on there but they haven't but they've gone for USB type C on both and you get two of them one either side which is great and with USB type C you can also use it to charge your Chromebook and connect an external display. Keyboards they're both backlit but the keyboard on the original Galaxy is better the inside of the Galaxy 2 is plastic so it's a bit more flimsy the original Galaxy, yes, it's a better Chrome, a better keyboard on the original Galaxy. When it comes to battery life, this is where it changes. So with the original, it's hard to get if you look at different websites, they have different hours. So I've worked on the basis of what, what the likely scenario is. And I would say the likely scenario is about five hours from an original Galaxy Chromebook, which isn't bad. But when, it, when you think about Chrome OS, everybody expects a really good battery on a Chromebook. So that's what let that down. And that's where a lot of the negative press come in. Um, with the Galaxy 2, they state it's 13 hours of battery. I'd be highly suspicious about whether that's the case. You're most likely going to get 10 hours, 9 hour battery life, which is roughly double. So it is a big improvement, which means it's more ideal if you need it a laptop to use out and about all day long without having to charge it. Both come with Wi-Fi 6 and both come with Bluetooth. Wi-Fi 6 better than the Wi-Fi 5 because it's good if you're in a home where there's lots of technology competing for a Wi-Fi connection, but you do need a Wi-Fi 6 router to take advantage of that as well. So connectivity, although they are similar, I've, I've put into this about the battery life as well and the keyboard. Um, so I, I, I think I actually put down that the original Galaxy wins on connectivity and it does to an extent, but you need to put bear in mind this battery difference, battery hours, five hours to 13 hours, massive difference. But that being said, you still got to remember the original Galaxy Chromebook is a fantastic Chromebook. It's got a great display, really good processor. If you're not going to be taking a Chromebook out and about with you, and so therefore you can charge it every few hours, You've got to think about that as well. Okay, so the connectivity winner, both micro SD slot and both have headphone jack. So you can add further storage down the line as well. So it's the original Galaxy, but do bear in mind, not by much, if I'm being honest with you, when it comes to connectivity. Now, let's have a look at the comparison summary. With the original, you've got a stylus included, which is really important if you like to use a stylus. Also, it had a docking station for the stylus, which is fantastic. With my Pixel Slate, it doesn't have a docking station, so I have to look for my pen, and that it can be a bit of a pain. I do like the fact that the original Galaxy Chromebook has a docking station, so that's really good. Um, but the Galaxy 2 does support a stylus. It doesn't come with one, but at least it supports it, so you can buy one, which is good to see. The original had a fingerprint scanner. The Galaxy 2 does not have a fingerprint scanner. That being said, if I'm being completely honest with you, although they're great, they don't work that fantastically anyway. My Pixel Slate, it does work sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes, but that's the same on my phone as well. So 
I don't think that's a major difference if I'm being honest with you. Now, when it comes to price, this is the difference. So the original is recommended price is $999.99. Now the reason why I'm not putting pounds in here, if there's anyone watching this from the UK, this Chromebook isn't available in the UK. So that's why I'm just mentioning the US prices here. So $999.99. The, the Galaxy 2 um, Intel Celeron, $549.99. And the Intel i3 Galaxy 2 is $699.99. So if you compare the Intel i3 to the original Galaxy, you've got a $300 difference there. The only difference is I would say is if you if you would prefer the original Galaxy because you're not too bothered about the battery life and you just want the better specs, watch out for the um, deals you get on Best Buy because you do see it at $699 quite a lot. So if you if you do prefer it, wait until it goes down in price and grab one. I grab one when you can if you do want the original because I'm sure once they run out, they're not going to make them continue making them in the future. In relation to the Galaxy 2, um, the price I think is fine for the Intel i3. For the Intel Celeron with four gigabyte, and six four gigabyte storage, I think that's quite expensive. You're definitely paying for the brand there and the actual, the look of, and the feel of the Chromebook because I think you can get better Chromebooks out there for that price range. So I don't know if this Intel Celeron is a great deal, if I'm being honest with you. When it comes to the AUE date, both are June 2028. I'll pause there because I think it's June, but it's definitely 2028 for the AUE date on both of these Chromebooks. So let's just have a look. We should get the dates now actually. There we go. Yep, yeah, June 2028 on both. So there we go. So the comparison winner, it is the original Galaxy Chromebook, which is no surprise. The Galaxy 2 is great, don't get me wrong. It, it, the, the Full HD display is fine. I don't think you need more than a Full HD display on a laptop to get, to get good results, you really don't. The difference is the build quality, although it's still premium to an extent, the outer casing is premium. The inner casing on the Galaxy 2 isn't as premium. It's a thicker Chromebook as well. So if the only thing what was putting you off buying the original Galaxy was the battery life. Personally speaking, I wouldn't be put off by that because it's it's a fantastic Chromebook. They're both good Chromebooks, don't get me wrong, but the original definitely wins. It's got a much better processor. It's got an Intel i5 quad core compared to an Intel i3 dual core. It's got a fantastic 4K display. The only thing I would say about a display of 4K for example, I've not used a 4K display on a Chromebook, but my Pixel Slate is 3000 by 2000. And although it looks fantastic, and it really does, the, 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 the pictures look great, when you're surfing the internet and you're, you're looking at text, it's, it's hard to read because it's so tight and compact. So I have to make the display, the resolution, increase the resolution. So it's about how practical a 4K display is on a laptop. Obviously it would look amazing and it'd be great on games if the game supports 4K. The difference is the price. The price, that's gonna depend on which one you're gonna go for. But like I says, the original, you can get the original at $699, which is the same price of the Samsung 2, $699. You've gotta watch that Best Buy website and wait when the prices come out and go for it. Or if you're not that fussed about it and you do want more, it, it's all about battery life performance for you, then the Galaxy 2, you know, that may be the one for you as well. So I, I hope this video helped. If it did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.